To continue on our notes about DNA and RNA, today we're going to talk about uh, mutations. A mutation is just a change in the DNA, okay? And, and what happens with a mutation is that uh, it often changes the protein produced, whether the protein is responsible for a trait or an enzyme to catalyze some kind of reaction. Um, it causes some kind of change there. Sometimes the change is major, sometimes it's minor, sometimes there's actually not much change at all. Uh, and so it just depends on what the change is and how it and and uh, how what protein it affects to determine how it's going to affect the organism. The m first kind of mutation we'll talk about is a gene mutation. These are point mutations, a change at a single point in the DNA. These include three different kinds: there's substitutions, insertions, and deletions. A substitution would just substitute one base for another, and that may or may not. Um, change what is coded for. As we've learned, as we learned how to read the genetic code, there are multiple codons for various amino acids. Sometimes, and most of the time, they're just different by one base. And so sometimes changing a base, a single base, isn't going to change the uh, amino acid coded for, which won't change the protein at all. Other times it can have a drastic difference. In the case of sickle cell anemia, for instance, the difference between the, um, in the hemoglobin gene, uh, the hemoglobin gene coded for uh, is just one base pair that's changed and that causes this condition which can be deadly in some cases and so um, it just depends on what it is and how it changes. The other kinds, the, sub, the deletions and insertions are more serious. Those are what we call frame shift mutations because by moving, a, a, either removing or adding a uh, a base in that sequence that of the gene, it's going to shift the reading frame of the genetic message. Let's see what that looks like. So um, here we have a, a gene mutation. Okay, you have the original DNA sequence, TAC, GCA, TGGAAT, and uh, here is mRNA sequence and the amino acids coded for. But let's say we change this cytosine to a thymine. Now cytosine and thymine are both pyrimidines. Okay, so it just changes the pyrimidine there. But that's going to change the messenger RNA codon to CAU from CGU, and that's going to code for histidine amino acid rather than arginine, and that can cause a huge difference in the way that the protein turns out. One amino acid might be more hydrophilic or might, might be more hydrophobic. It might not hydrogen bond with adjacent ones uh, in the way it's supposed to, and so it can totally change the shape. And as we've learned, when you change the shape of a protein, you're changing the way it works. So this would be a substitution. This would be a, a substitution mutation. Here we have one that is a different kind of substitution. Now, this is an insertion. Here we're inserting a uh, a code an, an amino a, a nitrogen base. Okay. So here we had TAC GCA was our original sequence, and we inserted an, an extra thymine in here. Okay. Then that's going to change all the codons that the messenger RNA codes for, and that's going to change the sequence of amino acids here, and we're going to end up with extra ones at the end, so this is going to be a nonsense protein. It's not going to make any sense at all. The same kind of thing would happen with a deletion. If you deleted one, and every, it would shift everything back the other direction. And so sometimes sometimes the, insert, the substitution can change one or a, a couple of amino acids in the chain, the deletion or insertion is going to change everything from that point on because it's going to shift the way the whole um, DNA sequence is read. Here's another example. Okay, here's the normal gene. Codes from methionine, lysine, phenylalanine, glycine, and alanine. And when we substitute this adenine for this guanine here, it changes just this one amino acid to serine. And again, it may or may not have much effect on the protein that is coded for. But if we delete or insert a, a base here, it's going to change everything from that point on because we're changing the reading frame. Instead of reading U, 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 if we delete that U there, it's going to shift everything down this way. And so we're going to read, instead of AGC, that's going to be GGC, okay, and GCA, and so forth. And if we insert one here, that's going to shift everything down the other way. So it's going to change everything from that point on. Generally speaking, substitutions and, and ins, I mean, insertions and deletions are going to be much more harmful mutations than substitutions. Does that mean substitutions aren't harmful? Not necessarily. Some of them can be very harmful, as in the previous example of, of um, sickle cell anemia, which only changes by one base pair. 
Now there are also chromosome mutations and these are change in the number or structure of the chromosomes. And these are going to be much more harmful to the organism overall. There will always be some kind of birth defect or problem in these kind of cells, uh, if, especially if they occur in um, in sex cells or gametes, which is where they usually occur. So you can have things like deletions, duplications, inversions, or translocations. And let's look and see what that talks about. So in a um, deletion, what you have is a sequence, a, s a section of the DNA or of the, of the chromosome is deleted. And so you end up with a chromosome that is shorter. And so that whole section there is gone. So whatever genes are included in there, which could be one or could be a hundred, are going to be missing in the organism. Now if this occurs in a germ cell, in a, um, a sex cell, like a, a egg cell or a sperm cell, this could definitely affect the outcome of the organism. It might even cause the organism not to develop fully. If it happens in body cells, it's going to cause some kind of abnormality, perhaps some kind of a tumor. Another thing that can happen is an inversion. If, uh, if the um, if a section breaks off of the chromosome and reinserts re backwards, that's going to cause, remember the DNA has to be read only in one direction, and so if you, if you reverse a section of it, it's not going to read properly, and so it's not going to code properly for the um, proteins that need to be coded for there. In a duplication, when you have the ho two homologous chromosomes, that's two chromosomes of the same type, if part of one breaks off, and inserts into the other one, you end up with one chromosome that has two copies of all those genes and one chromosome that is missing one, like here, that would go along with a, with a deletion. And then a reciprocal translocation would be between two adjacent chromosomes that were not homologous to each other, and if you had part of one break off and insert on the other, then they could translocate from the other. All of these kinds of mutations are going to cause major problems, major birth defects if they occur in um, sex cells, in sperm cells, in egg cells, and otherwise will come, cause some kind of abnormality in the cells as a whole. And we'll talk more when we talk about meiosis about what kind of things can happen and when these kinds of mutations can occur. And that completes the notes on mutations.